saving his career, bro. Nipsey got that shit on him, bro. Most of my mom, we got all the footage. Wow. Yeah, nigga, he paying a nigga to fuck his baby mama with him. His baby mama sucking the other nigga's dick. Nipsey behind the bitch fucking her. He pulls his dick out the bitch, go grab the bitch by her hair, pull her mouth off the nigga dick, come kiss the bitch, and put her mouth back on the dick. They were a little crib. We got all the footage, bro. I think that's where it gets a little disrespectful. <laughs> the neighborhood crib part. Every time a nigga asks me, bro, about yo, I'm like, yo, bro, listen, if I didn't like dude, I'd have been did this some nigga. I've been in the middle of some shit and ain't got nothing to do with me, but I know if that shit come out, it ain't gonna look good, nigga. For real, nigga. Straight up, nigga. Yo, so if he I said didn't he's like recorded this, three nigga, conversations. If I didn't like this nigga, I'd have been, yeah, 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 yeah. Put it out. He said he's what up, y'all? This is a crazy one. So I'm gonna just keep it real brief, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the video. So this is just VDJ Academics and Wack 100 talking about the Nipsey Hustle sex tape that Wack has um, at least control of. He says he doesn't have possession of it, but I'll let you guys listen to it. My personal take on it, real quick, is that um, you know, I think Nipsey Hustle is getting in the crossfire of this. You know, he's dead. People are talking about rest in peace and stuff like that. You know, his legacy is under attack. Um, I think that this is just some grown... I, I think it's on, honestly Hassan Campbell's fault. I really do. A lot of people probably dis, definitely disagree with me on it, but, you know, they make a lot of good points about it. Hassan Campbell is trying to attack WAC 100 by releasing um, these Nipsey Hustle type of stuff, man. I had no idea about this Nipsey Hustle's gay sex tape. The way that WAC 100 talks about it in the in the phone call that y'all just listened to, it sounds a little fruity, but here's the deal, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it another... I'm going to keep it buck real quick. Rap culture talks all the time about passing, fucking these hoes and passing them to their bros, fucking the bros with they, they home, or fucking the hoes with their homies and shit like that. And there's a lot of shit talking about, you know, gang banging, running trains and stuff like that. I know a lot of niggas that done fuck bitches with they niggas and stuff like that. And, and you know, this is a thing that's in hip hop culture. So, you know, maybe this is, honestly, is it really even gay? Is it gay to fuck bitches with your homie? Is it gay that you like him when your bitch is sucking on your, your homie's dick? Some shit like that. You know, maybe I'm missing out on something. I ain't never did nothing like that. Maybe I'm missing out on something. Maybe there's something in this. Maybe it gets a motherfucker harder. Maybe motherfuckers get more horny seeing they niggas fucking the same bitch with them in the same room at the same time. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Maybe maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe I'm not gangsta hood enough for this shit or whatever. But I'm not gang affiliated on no shit like that. I'm just be. I'm just saying, man. I think that, you know, even with Wack is talking about Hassan Campbell, I remember the Boondocks episode, you know, they talk about niggas getting this hood persona. They also getting this tattoos and stuff to make themselves feel more gangster because they didn't have their masculinity taken from them or whatever, some shit like that, you guys. That might be true in Hassan Campbell's case. You know, it really might be true. And I think in this Nipsey Hustle case, man, you let me know, is it gay? I think it's a little fruity. I think I always thought it was fruity. I always thought it was a little fruity and I thought it was a little weird to be having, you know, to be glorifying fucking bitches with your niggas and shit like that. And maybe or maybe it's just because once again I ain't did it. Maybe it's because I don't know the pleasures of of, of threesomes with your nigga. Two two guys and a girl or 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 a uh, fucking train with three guys and a girl. Maybe I just don't know the pleasures of that shit. So y'all let me know in the comments down below. But um here it is, man. Here's the the full audio of them talking about that shit, man. Why, why, why? Well, no, no, I agree with that. I agree because on, I, I don't see the extorting part of it. I'll say this though, because this is extorting why extorting what? Who are you extorting? Hold on, a we lot don't of people charge each other. Wait, wait, a lot of people are mad at you though because they mad. It's, it's the Nipsey thing. What? No, no, no. You can't be mad at me. Hey, listen, I've been making sure for three years it didn't come out. Be mad at Hassan. His his embarrassment was so great. He didn't give a fuck about Nipsey. Wait, hold on. Let's he said it. he got you on tape calling Nipsey a rat. This Let's keep it real. Listen, his embarrassment is so great. He didn't give a fuck about Nipsey. He got mad because of the embarrassment of this podcast show on your platform. And by the way, by the way, yo. Hold I'm, on. Uh, go hold ahead. on. Go that could have been talked about this shit. I'm the only nigga on the face of this earth who been keeping it from coming out. This nigga ain't no crip or no blood who, who own this shit. This ain't, it ain't in my possession. I don't want it in my possession. I just ain't seen it and I advise this nigga on what he shouldn't do. That's it and that's all. So be mad at Hassan because he been having this shit for three months for what it looked like. Be mad at him. Yo, wait, wait. I also, I also said this though. I said, hey, 
and by the way, and, and I said this, you, you called me last, was it last night or two nights ago? And, and, and we had a conversation and I said- A couple nights. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, yo, whack. I was interested to see how you would you would handle that question because you mentioned something of the sort to me too, as well. Of course, I didn't record you, bro, but bro, I heard about saying, it. I was never going to speak about it because you know I what? Know, but what? If I'm I spoke saying, about bro, it- It's a bunch of niggas that it ain't nothing new, bro. So end of the day, it is what it is. Yeah. What it is? Yeah, so so I I heard about it. I was never going like yo, oh shit, let me because that was something that clearly so that that is so, very safe. So can we agree? His embarrassment, his anger for this embarrassment that he didn't want to deal with a man in person was that great that Hassan didn't give a fuck about Nipsey. He put it out, not me. Well, I think I think for him he declared war. He he don't care who, who's a casualty at this point. Okay, that's cool. What, well, what well, he no. got to understand is, I ain't losing no sleep. No, but that's what I was trying to say. To you, you or him? For you, it's like there. He's down to bring other people into your situation. That if y'all could just squash it, he won't be embarrassing other people. Because right now, Nipsey's baby mama, the first one, like it's like she's going through it right now. Like you got to imagine people hitting up her page. Yo, what's up with Bro, this? Bro, hey, yo, academic. That's on me and him. That's on him, but you can stop it. Because stop he's, what? he's trying to hurt you. He's trying to hurt you. He already did. Bro, that ain't hurt me. I'm not on the tape. Yep, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He's trying to hurt you, but now he's hurting other people. So, Bro, let me tell you how when I saw he was weird. When the nigga said, yeah, big you, Wack had me on the three-way listening to you there, though. Well, Wack, he also says that that that... You and Big U was extorting Nipsey because y'all had the tape or whatever it is before Nipsey hey, died. Hey, academics, academics. Nobody knew about the tape till after Nipsey was dead. So how you extorting them, bro? That's what, what is he, he talking about? He said, he said you told him that on the on the quote unquote tape. I Never. Know. He don't have that. He don't have that. He lying. Tell him, tell him to play what Wax said. We was extorting them. Tape didn't come to play till after he was dead. Tape did not surface until after Nipsey was dead. Probably yo, like yo, and, two, and, three, probably about three months after he was dead. And by the way, for everybody here, listen, we I'm having a real conversation. Somebody said, Axe, stop being a sucker. Axe whack. Why did he tell Hassan about Nipsey? I guess they're saying I wanted to. Okay. Any human being, listen, bro. This how it kicked. He asked me, so he won't play y'all the whole tape. Yo, whack. Why you be tripping on Nipsey? Nigga, I don't trip on Nipsey. Fuck you talking about. Yeah, man, it's like you don't like it. Man, I ain't got nothing against Nipsey, my nigga. Uh, okay. I just said he wasn't a fucking musical legend. We talking music. I said, bro, nigga, I'm the only nigga keeping this whole bullshit ass, this fucking sex tape, this fucking gay shit going on this tape from coming out, nigga. If I was tripping on him, it would have been out. I'm no, I don't reap no benefits from this shit. I have to deal with this shit. We were talking. I, I don't know if Nipsey. We were talking about Nipsey, or you were basically just saying. No, Man. you was telling me niggas think I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, people don't think. Yeah, exactly. And what I tell you, you were like, "Yo, you don't have a." You, you said it was a musical opinion, and, and I understand that because I make musical opinions all the time. And then you're like, "Yo, if if I didn't like the dude, I would have, I would have done more shit to fuck over his legacy, including blah blah blah." Instead. I've been protecting it. I saw him let the cat out the bag. So he he was asking me a question like you asked me a question. Same way he asked me, yo, man, why could you help me build my platform? What could I do? Whatever the fuck he asked me. I said, yo, you got to hit these other podcasts and shit. Because niggas just know you from talking shit about niggas in New York. I'm How gonna does Wack got, got three sex tapes? How you hey, got three me, sex tapes in possession? Hey, let me let you answer it. Yeah, uh, I, You've been around me. The percep Is the perception of me... Once you sit down and talk to me, which one is it? No. Is I'm, I'm one of these stupid ass, yo, put it out. Because whatever I said, I didn't already say it to that side. They know. They know what I know. Nigga, the truth, the truth can never be considered disrespect. Bro. Yo, you no came fun, out nigga. and you actually, huh? I, I thought you were going to be like, oh, that's not my voice. It's whatever. You came out and said, Fuck no. Fuck out of here. Is is. Nigga, I'm a Pacoima nigga. We don't do that. Original baby gangster, we don't do that. You stand on what it is, bro. Don't get mad at me, nigga. I'm not the director or the star of it, my nigga. And he the one exposed it, not me, nigga. I didn't have this conversation about this shit with several people, bro, including you. 
There you go. Include them. His homies know. It's real shit. It, well, well, it did bother. I, I seen a video of. Oh shit! I'm about to. I gotta send it back to him. I've been saving his career, bro. If she got that shit on him, bro. Don't some more mom. This stuff we got all the footage. Wow. Yeah, nigga, he paying a nigga to fuck his baby mama with him. His baby mama sucking the other nigga's dick. If she behind the bitch fucking her, he pulls his dick out the bitch. Go grab the bitch by her hair, pull her mouth off the nigga dick, cut kiss the bitch, and put her mouth back on the dick. Dang, we got all the footage, bro. I think that's where it gets a little disrespectful. The neighborhood crib part. Hold on, I I I'll say this though, and I think I've heard Wax say this publicly. Let's be honest. Wax opinion on that situation. Is it, is somebody join. Oh, here we go. Yo, in that call, who that was controlled by? What? Like Big U? Like like for example, no Big U? Like you like Big U? Nipsey's family just to hit him on the line and be like, yo, I don't talk to Big U, bro. Yeah, but, but but you know he's watching all this. At least just let okay. him know, like, this is not hey, you. Look, bro, me and Big, you already had our issues, bro, that you know I'm not happy about, bro. It is what it is, bro. He, You think, Big, you don't know what I'm talking about? Let me, you, you think this is the first time he heard this? Yeah, but for everybody who's watching, Ask they're going to think you yes leaked no. it. They, it, it. Because it's your voice, they're not going to think yes who released no. it. Do you think this is the first time he has heard these things? No, but he going to think you're the first That's person it. to bring it public. I didn't bring it public. Correct that. Who brought it public? You're right. Hassan, but he might not know that. Okay, listen. Put on me what I did. I'm going to wear that. I'm going to keep it P-Funk. Don't put on me what another nigga did. So he can lock the torpedo. You know he thought that was going to, I don't know. No, 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 he did that. No, he did that. But, but I, I, hold on. I think oh, you said saying, I can't lock my torpedo? I think he's saying any torpedo other than that. I think he don't care if it's some street shit or some other shit. Any torpedo other than that. So he gets to pick and choose that? Well, you're right about that. You're Fuck right out of here. He had to expose you. He called you a snake. You can't expose me, bro, because even you knew about it. Yeah. I just knew it was none of my business to speak on publicly at all or ever. Every time a nigga asks me, bro, about, yo, I'm like, yo, bro, listen, if I didn't like, dude, I'd have been this, this some nigga. I've been in the middle of some shit and ain't got nothing to do with me, but I know if that shit come out, it ain't gonna look good, nigga, for real, nigga. Straight up, nigga. Yo, so if he I said didn't he's like recorded this, three nigga, conversations. If I didn't like this, nigga, I'd have been, yeah, 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 put it out. He said he's recorded three conversations. You, That's cool. you, you have two more conversations with him? It might be you. I don't remember, but I don't be. I don't keep up with you. You keep up with that shit. I don't remember how many times I talk to you, nigga. We talk what we talk about. We keep moving. I ain't gonna so lie. It, it, I'm gonna be honest. I it, don't it, give a fuck what he put up. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. After I heard that footage, I got a little scared about being on the phone. Period. I'm like, you with that? No, I mean, especially with it, that nigga. Like, I, he really killed himself, and you know that. Yeah, the the, the recording. Nigga, phone if he got conversations thing. with me, he damn sure got some of you. Not to record, but leave that. Not you record, ain't that slow. Now the recorded conversation shit, you know. Yeah. Nigga. I, we all have our discussions about shit. Uh, act and you know it. 